What's going on everybody? It's your boy Coop from House of Coops, man. It's the Coops family. I'm not here with the family today because today we're talking about the Ray Ban Metas. Today is the official one month anniversary of having these bad boys. So we're going to have a full on in-depth review of how these bad boys are. And let me tell you straight up, there's gonna be some good and there's gonna be some terribly, terribly bad. So Let's get straight into it, should we? First things first, let me give you a rundown about my Meta Ray-Ban classes. First of all, these are fully loaded. These are the cream and alle of Meta Ray-Ban glasses. I got them in the jean color with transition and prescription lenses and green tint for the transition. And on top of that also, I also have anti-smug, anti-glare, blue light blocker, and also premium thinning. So the glasses can be as light as possible by making the lenses themselves as skinny as possible because these glasses are heavy. Heavy. And when I say heavy, I mean heavy. As someone that grew up that had to wear goggles for professional sports, these are close to those goggles, those sports goggles. I'll be honest. They look nice, they look great, don't get me wrong, but they are heavy and they feel like sport goggles. And one of the terrible things about these glasses that I am going to show you guys, look at my face. They're so heavy that they're making these black indents on my nose. But what the hell, boy? I don't know if you guys will see them, we'll know in the video later, but yeah. I'm getting those black indents on my nose from the, how heavy the glasses are. Listen, I got the glasses for free. I ain't gonna bitch, I ain't gonna complain. This is something I can detour because these are my daily drivers. I use them as soon as I wake up and right before I go to bed, all day, 24 seven. There's only a 45 minute lapse in my day that I actually put them in the case to recharge back to 100. That's another good point. These glasses charge fast as hell. Although, Ray-Ban did not send a charger in the packaging. Really, nigga? Again, got them for free, not bitching. As you can see, everything behind me is USB-C anyway, so it's not a big problem to me. But for someone else that's gonna spend the $800 on these bad boys, if you get them fully specced out, I think they might want a small charger, even if it's a tiny charger, bro. Even if it's a tiny charger that goes from like, the case, and this far along. So they can just put it into a USB port or into their Xbox or anything to charge it. I know they say, oh, we don't send it with a charger because we want to minimize waste. Cut the crap. $800 for glasses, I'm gonna need a charger. And they think because I got these for free, I'm gonna sugarcoat anything. Mm -mm. We don't sugarcoat nothing out here. Full blown review, you don't get it how y'all get it, all right? The good and the bad. And also before I forget, you do not need to have the case plugged in for it to be charging. You can have the glasses just inside the case by itself with no charger. As you can see in the app, it's charging without being plugged in. I plugged it in at 70% and it's already at 75%. And it's also importing the photos out at the same time. So yes, it's a good value for its money. It's doing its thing and it's literally just ticked up to 76. It charges so fast. Like it literally charges so fast and I'm very, 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 very happy that it does. Cause if it charged kind of slow, that would have been a problem, but it doesn't. It charges very fast. You don't need to plug it into charge. And yeah, back to the video. Now on to the build quality. The build quality on these glasses are superb, amazing, top notch. Listen, these bad boys are strong as hell. And they, these hinges, if you can see them, I wouldn't even call those hinges. I will call those brackets. Cause they're huge, they're strong. And when I say like, I know I can do this a million times and it won't like get weak or anything. Trust me, the hinges on these glasses are A1. So if you are trying to compare your other sunglasses or any other eyewear or prescription glasses that you've had in the past to these, just cut the crap. Because the hinges on these, wah, wah, super strong. I'm gonna call those brackets. And the plastic on them, the plastic transparent casing that are being used on these bad boys are very, very strong and sturdy. And I love the fact that you can actually see through the glasses. Like that's cool as That's cool as Especially if you got a dope ass color like me in jean or something like that. I think everyone to get a colored version. Some people, you know what I'm saying, you know, some most people taste gonna be black, 
Most people say it's gonna be black. But my recommendation is, come on man, spice up your life a little bit, man. Get a little bit of color. Get a little bit of color. Now, do I have any fears with my kids and my glasses? No, I do not. Both my kids are both under three, so they're very handsy. So I don't have any fears with them grabbing my glasses because how sturdy they are. Like, they're bricks. Like, I'm gonna drop them real quick. Like, they're strong, they're bricks. I'll give them that, all right? Ray-Ban, Facebook, you did, the, you did your thing with the quality control on these bad boys, because they are sturdy. The next thing we wanna talk about is the audio of the Ray-Ban Metas. They're great, they're great. Really shoot the music to your ear. Can, I don't know how to explain it, but like, the speaker for the music is right here in the curved part, and it shoots directly into the air. So even when I'm in like, loud situations because i do event operations and advisories so i'm always in a loud area most of the time and i can clearly hear my music i can clearly hear um, language translations and uh, measurement changes for uk to us and so on and so forth by just asking the ai very clearly in any loud situation and on top of that when I talk to people on the phone, they say they don't hear anything in the background. Like the noise cancellation on these bad boys are mwah, perfect, great. Listen, I don't know who was in charge of quality control, either Meta or Ray-Bans, but whoever is, thank you. Thank you. There's not many products I've bought that I can say I have so much positive reviews and so much trust in it. Like. I have pure trust in these. I, when I first was buying them, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be scared to sweat in them or get them you know, wet in the rain or this and some, none of that. Throw that all out the window. Cause where the speakers and uh, all the uh, mics are located, even if you're getting a little bit rained on and so on and so forth, they're gonna be fine, 100%. And they're water resistant, not waterproof, but water resistant to a point where, you know, a light rain isn't gonna affect anything. I'd be honest with you. You wanna go sweat, you wanna go work at the gym and so on and so forth, you'll be fine. Go ahead, buy these bad boys, get your POVs for, you know, weightlifting and stuff like that. And it's gonna look like this, literally. I'm gonna do it right now. And I'm gonna insert the video and you guys are gonna see like, these bad boys are great. And jump straight and into the video quality since I just showed you guys that the video quality is amazing when there's enough light. In the low light, it kind of suffers, but what do you expect for a camera that fits in your glasses? You know what I'm saying? It's not terrible in the low light, but it's not as great if you obviously had enough light. But, most of the time, I'm using these for my stories. If you wanna see these bad boys being used every single day and see what they're capable of, just follow me on Instagram. Every single one of my stories I create for my family or when I go out to eat or POVs have been coming from these glasses. And people are just like, wow, like they're shocked because it's not what you expect. And a lot of people, you know, obviously just shoot the videos and post them. Yes, I do a little bit of color grading because sometimes the colors are completely off or completely washed out in yellow. But other than that, you know, a little slide on the temp and you back to good, baby! You back to good. It does not shoot the video in a full nine by 16 or 16 by nine, no, nine by 16, straight vertical. It's like this shorter, stubbier, like, 9 by 14 or something, something like that. I'm gonna put, it's gonna be a pop-up right here. Continue about the camera quality, live streaming. Live streaming, I don't know if it's the glasses, I know it's not my Wi-Fi because I have one gig Wi-Fi, but the live stream isn't as clear as you would think, especially since this is um, a product that they market for live streaming. You can do up to 30 minutes of a live stream video straight to your Instagram or Facebook, but when I say it's choppy, it's choppy. It looks like it's a low bit rate when you know when you get a low bit rate and it gets a little uh, that's what it looks like. So I won't be live streaming as much with these as per se, but but I'm gonna give them time because they are brand new, they are fresh. There has to be updates and upgrades and so on and so forth that'll come out for the glasses and uh, applications and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna give it some time. But right now as it sits, the live stream is definitely like a three out of 10. Low light, eh, 
and good lighting, amazing. Pictures, amazing. No problem with pictures. But with the videos, yes. You're gonna need good lighting, it'll be great. If you're outside or out doing your thing in the mall or out on the streets and so on and so forth, you'll be perfectly fine. If it's a nighttime event and there's a party going on and so on and so forth, it might be a hit and miss here and there, but live streaming is a complete miss. Complete miss. We ain't with that at all. It's a complete miss. If you have any recommendation for making the live stream better, let me know in the comments below, because I'm all ears. Because I would love to live for the live stream to look better so I can stream more to my Instagram followers and stuff straight from my glasses, especially if I'm in a POV driving. You know, that'll be cool to have that POV live streaming with the music playing and just try to catch some vibes with my Instagram followers, man. Especially since that's my biggest platform at the moment. My biggest platform in the moment. So it'll be great to have the live stream looking nice and crisp, all right? Let's keep it pushing. The transitioning on the glasses are amazing. They look so good and they're clearly transitioning. You step out into the sun or you step outside, just in general. The sun doesn't have to be fully out. It just is gonna be a nice little cast of just clouds or whatever. The transitions will still work. What I'm used to with transition glasses is that the whole sight of everything gets darker. With these, it don't. It transitions and it's protecting my eyes and I can clearly see that when I look in the mirror outside or in my car or something. But the tint that I'm seeing through is not getting darker. I don't know what kind of witchcraft or magic they're doing, but the glasses literally turn into shades, transition into shades, but I'm not seeing the darkness as I'm looking through it, which is ridiculously crazy and ridiculously cool and ridiculously nice. Really nigga? 10 on 10. So how do people feel about my glasses in person? When I'm out in the mall and everything and so on and so forth, some people can actually tell that, that these are the Meta Ray-Bans. And some people would actually ask questions, they wanna know how it works, how's the camera quality, and I give them even a quick demo. Let them talk to Meta, let them talk to Siri. One of the cool things I like to show people is that the real life translating straight from the glasses. So if you have an iPhone, obviously, you will have this. So with that quick action button and that feature, you're able to translate in real time to any language. So if someone's talking to me, the glasses are actually listening, and then when they're done, it'll read it back to me in English, and then I'll say what I need to say in English, and it'll play out in the speakers, which are loud enough for them to hear, which is crazy and I'll repeat it back to them in their language. So when I'm traveling, cause I'm right now I'm here in Europe and I, I go to Italy or I go to Ibiza, it's amazing for me to, you know, place my order in their language based just off the glasses, which I did last week. And it was pretty cool. And people were just so excited to know that, oh, well, the language barrier is now gone, technically. Like I didn't have to study the whole language and you and I are com completely communicating. You don't know English, I don't know Italian, and we're, we're doing great right now. Another thing is, when I'm recording in public, when I'm recording in public, there's a light that plays in the front. So, hey Meta, take a video. And then this light here starts, and there's also a light indicator inside letting me know that it is recording. So, when people see that it's recording, a few times people will be like, hey, your flashlight is on. Most people just think it's a flashlight. They think it's just a flashlight that attached to my glasses like I'm an electrician or something that works in the attic or something. Like, literally. They're like, oh, your flashlight is on. And I'm just like, uh, okay, <laughs> thank you. I didn't know now, this. The app. The app is amazing. I'll give you all that. The app works how it's supposed to work. Like, I can't say that about a lot of other products, you know, especially like, my Sony camera right now, the app for it to wirelessly transfer data, it sucks. But the Meta app for the Ray-Bans, it, it works and it works flawlessly. It connects straight to the Wi-Fi, it connects straight to the glasses when needed to, it always constantly tells me what's the battery life, if I have this amount of images of photos still stored on the glasses and needs to be imported over and so on and so forth. The import of the photos and videos are very fast, very quick, and it imports in a low quality so you can see it 
off rip as soon as it is connected to the app and then over time it upgrades and imports to a high quality full res and saves to your phone. Also in the app on the first page they give you a lot of instructions on how to use your Meta Ray-Bans, what they're capable of and so on and so forth but there's a lot of things that you can do with these glasses that you just need to do a little bit of working around. Obviously you can't technically translate straight from the glasses, but because they're hooked up to my phone, I can use the Translate app within my phone and I can talk directly to Siri through my glasses. So instead of me talking to, hey, Meta, I didn't want her to answer. Instead of me saying, hey, Meta, I just be like, hey, Siri, can you translate what he's about to say? And it does it and it reads back and it all still takes in straight from the glasses. And you, you would think the possibilities are limited with these glasses, but they're not. They're not. If you're smart enough and tech wise enough, these glasses can do a whole lot more than they're advertised. But yes, guys, that's the end of the one month review. This is the end. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you wanna see more, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If you also have a fix for the live streaming so it could be a lot more crispier from the glasses, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see these in action on a daily basis, take yourself to my Instagram, it'll be right here. And you'll always see stories every single day coming from these glasses. I literally use these bad boys as my daily drivers every single day from morning to night. These are the bad boys. These are the things. Thank you, Meta. Thank you, Ray-Ban. Shout out to you guys. Amazing glasses. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I'm out, baby.